Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Konnichiwa everybody and welcome to the class. Well now before I actually start with the lesson, as always we will first do our assignments, go over the assignments and then learn something new today as well. So well the first assignment that I gave you was take the appropriate word from the brackets. So, well, the first one is oikutsu. Rao san wa oikutsu desu ka? Now, ikutsu is also given over here. Ikutsu means number, and the moment you put oikutsu, oikutsu is polite for age, as I had told you earlier. So, well, Rao san wa oikutsu desu ka? Rao san, how old are you? Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Not itta because it is ashita and not ikanai. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Then asoko no kata wa donata desu ka? You could also use dare over here, but donata again is polite because kata is here. Kata is again polite for hito. So well, asoko no kata wa donata desu ka? And you could also add sama over here after donata that would make it even more polite and tene. Then we have Rao san wa doko no chokureto tabeta ka? Doko is where? From where? Tabe mashita ka? Plain form tabeta. Tanaka san no kaisha wa otaku kara chikai desu ka? Otaku is again polite for uchi. My house, one's own house is uchi and someone else's house is otaku. You will never say watashi no otaku wa eki kara chikai desu. Watashi no uchi wa eki kara chikai desu. Kono jiten sha wa benri desu. It is a convenient cycle. Mondai wa muzukashi desu. Hito is kashikoi, which is intelligent. Mondai could be kantan, mondai could be muzukashi desu. Mondai wa kantan desu. Mondai wa muzukashi desu. So you could have kantan, you could have muzukashi. Mondai wa kantan na mondai desu. So well, as we do not have na over here, you may or may not use kantan. Mainichi doko de shokuji wo shimasu ka? Doko is where and de, place de, action o shimasu. Well, the second assignment is fill in the blanks with appropriate particles. So, you have to fill particles over here. Let us see what the particles are. Rao san wa toki doki shokudo de tabimasu. As I told you just now in the previous uh, exercise, kino watashi wa rao san ni aimashita. Ni over here is for aimas. Aimas will take particle ni. Then, Tokyo wa. Nihon no shuto desu. Nihon no of. Shuto is capital. Kesa oto san to tennis o shimashita. Oto san to issho ni or oto san to tennis with my father. Watashi wa mai asa uchi de shinbun o yomimasu. I read the paper every day at home. 
Then we have Rao san wa shumatsu ni. Nani o shimasu ka? Shumatsu is time expression. So, with time expression it is always ni. Then we have Watashi no haha wa daigaku ni hataraki masu. Then imoto san wa itsu amerika e irashai masu ka? Irashai masu again is polite for ikimasu or kimasu as we have done earlier. Well, now we have some kanji practice for you. The first word is sensei. Let us see what it is. Sen se. Then we have kyo. Umu. These two are different, though look very similar, but very, very different. This is umu. Umu is to be born. This character itself means to give birth to. Then ashita. Kaimas. Of course, these two are again different, though look similar. Kaimas. Then we have Hanashimas. Kyujitsu. Kyujitsu is a yasumi day. This is yasumi, this is yasumi day. A holiday. Gonin. This is also go, this is also go, and this is also go. Go nin for person. Then Kesa. Today morning. So, fill in the blanks by replacing time expressions kyo for kino and verbs in past form. So, the first one is kino. Well, this passage was given to you in your last class and all kyo have to be changed to past. All verbs in present form have to be changed into past form. The first word is kino wa watashi no yasumi deshita. Watashi wa departo e ikimashita. Soko de kino atarashi shokki o kaimashita. Soko de. Soko de over here is departo. Soko de kino atarashi shokki is cutlery. O kaimashita. Seiru ga atta kara fuku mo kaimashita. Fuku is clothes. Kino wa tenki ga yokatta. Yokatta is passed for e des. That's an exception. Yokatta passed for e des. Sora mo kirei deshita. Kara tomodachi to soto de gohan no tabemashita. Departo no chika ni. Chika is basement. Chika ni yume na chiuka ryori no mise ga atta. Chiuka ryori is Chinese cuisine. No mise ga atta. Soko e ikimashita. Kino shujin wa uchi ni imashita. Kino wa nichiyobi deshita. Kaisha wa yasumi deshita. Musume mo doko e mo ikimasen deshita kara watashi wa yukkuri kaimono o shimashita. Kino tomodachi to isho ni takusan hanashi mo shimashita. Hanashi over here is talked a lot to my friend. Now, you have done this form well, let us practice kaku once more. Enpitsu o tsukatte kudasai. Please use a pencil. Enpitsu de kaite kudasai. Please write with a pencil. Enpitsu de kaite mite kudasai. So, please write and see in pencil. There could be a situation. Write and see whether it works all right or not. Whether it is clear or not. Enpitsu de kaite mite kudasai.
then we have these two people here and you can see a denva over here, a phone over here. Let us see what they are saying. Sensei ni denva o shite kudasai. Please talk to your teacher. Sensei uchi ni iru ka, inai ka, denva shite mite kudasai. You have done this form ka and ka together where the first ka is or and the second ka is a normal question. Sensei uchi ni iru ka, inai ka, is sensei present or is not present, denwa de kite mite kudasai or denwa shite mite kudasai. Then we have tomodachi to denwa de hanashite kudasai. Please talk to your friend on phone and denwa de hanashite mite kudasai. If you have a problem, denwa de hanashite mite kudasai or denwa de Kite mite kudasai, please ask on phone. There could be another situation. So, well, you can practice. You have these pictures over here. You can practice on your own. Think up of a situation and use te kudasai or verb in te form plus mite kudasai. Now, we did ya in the conversation and you have done to earlier. To and you know to means and when you join noun 1 and noun 2 and noun 3 and whatever is present say there are 10 things present over here you will have to list all 10 things present show all 10 things name all 10 things and use to with it, this to. But if it is a very, very large number, if it is a lot of things somewhere, what do you do? You cannot list all of them. So, what do you do? Well, to do that, you will use particle ya. Now, what does ya do? Ya also does exactly what to does, it also means and. But noun 1, ya, noun 2, ya, noun 3, nado. Meaning there is noun 1, there is noun 2, and there is noun 3, and lot of other things. So basically, it lists a few of the main things, few of the main things that are there present and etc. is used in the end and so on is used in the end. As you can see is listed over here. When we practice, you will know well A to B to C to D to and so on till everything is mentioned and with ya, A ya B ya C nado where nado means and so on or etc. So, you can see a san ya, b san ga kimashita, meaning that A and B came and some others also did come and hea ni tsukue ya hondana nado ga arimasu. So, in the room there is table, there is a bookshelf and there are other things as well. I am only listing some of the few. So, that is what it means with particle ya. Now, you can practice particle ya, it is very simple, it is easy to use and not exhaustive. For example, you have this picture over here, someone is pointing at something, there are a lot of things on the table, well let us see what it is. Tsukue no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Can someone tell me? Nani ga arimasu ka? Well, there are a lot of things, you have done all these, you know the names of these things. You can list them. Tsukue no ue ni pen to tokei to kaban to techo to hon to jisho to noto to passport to ga arimasu. So, you see you have to name all the things that are present over here. But if we are using ya 
what happens. Again the same picture you have and tsukue no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Tsukue no ue ni tokei ya passport ya jisho nado ga arimasu. So you are just naming a few main things and not naming the others. That is understood that there are other things as well. You can practice now once again. You have these things on your table. Well, there are a number of things I can see. Tsukue no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Tsukue no ue ni gohan to pan to sakana to tamago to yasai to kuki to kudamono to niku ga arimasu. So, you have to list each and everything, but now if we look at this picture, what happens now? Tsukue no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? Well, tsukue no ue ni yasai ya kudamono ya niku nado ga arimasu. Yasai, kudamono and niku is the three things that we mention and the rest is understood that of course, there are other things as well. So, now you can practice with your partner, point at a place which has lot of things and then you can practice to, you can practice ya. Now, in our conversation we had judai urimasu. So, dai is the counter for counting big things. You can count machinery, you can count cameras, you can count furniture, you can count cars, vehicles by this counter which is dai. So, well let us practice once what dai is. You can repeat after me ichi dai, ni dai, san dai, yon dai, go dai. Rokudai, Nanadai, Hachidai, Kyudai, Judai, and of course, how will you ask how many? Nandai. So, this is the kanji over here. After the numbers, you can add dai simply, there are no exceptions in this case. So, it is simple to remember ichi and dai and nana and dai. So, we have dai over here. Now, let us see what we have for you. Well, there are a number of buses over here, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku. So, what is the question? Well, bus wa nan dai arimasu ka? Roku dai arimasu or you can say roku dai desu. Then, we have so many cars over here. Well, 3 and 3, 6 and 3, 9. So, how many of them in all? Kuruma wa nandai arimasu ka? Kyudai arimasu or kyudai desu. One thing I just would like to tell you is when you are practicing, please repeat everything as it is. It is not given over here in that manner, but please when you ask a question, kuruma wa nandai arimasu ka? Please say kuruma wa kyudai arimasu or kuruma wa kyudai desu. Simple reason is that initially in the beginning it is always better to practice like this. You can revise, you can get used to the sounds, you can remember all the vocabulary that is being done and later on once you are comfortable then you can just reply in a simple manner as is given over. Well, the third picture is we have few TVs over here. Terubi wa nandai arimasu ka? Sandai arimasu or terubi wa sandai desu. So, this is how you can practice. Now, as I always do, we will do some kanji because 
we have been doing a lot of lot of new things, learning a lot of new things, lot of vocabulary, lot of new words. We will do simple kanji today, very very simple character, a very simple character which you already know and we have done a lot of words with this. The character is, you can see over here, it is Hana. Hana you already know is a flower, Hana. So, well, that is how it is made, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Please remember, it is a 7 stroke character, Hana. And what can you remember from Hana? Well, one word that you know is Hanaya, Hanaya san, a flower shop. Another word that you know is Hanami, which you, you did a couple of lessons back, which is viewing cherry blossoms. And today, we will do Ikebana. Ikebana is of course, the art of arranging flowers, which is very famous and known all over the world. We will do that today. This first character that you see over here, you have already done. This means to live or to be born and Hana is flower. It is Ike Bana. There are some words, Kusabana is flowering plant, Hanaya as I told you just now is a flower shop, Hanami you have already done is viewing cherry blossoms or sakura blossoms and hanabi which is a new word is fireworks and why fireworks because because the fireworks that you see generally comes out as a flower hana b so this is a new uh, word for you fireworks this character you have done this means fire. Well, now katakana for you as we always do, this is basically for you to learn the stroke order. Sometimes we forget the stroke order and though of course, you can write the characters, it is not such a big thing, you can write the characters, but when you are actually writing in Japanese, then going to the next character becomes a little difficult if your stroke order is not proper. So, well, we have ta series, ta, you can see the stroke order clearly, chi, chi, ichi, ni and san, chi, then tsu. As you can see, tsu starts from the top. So, 1, 2 and 3, then we have te, 1, 2 and 3. These characters have been made, have come from kanji characters, which are actually lines and very, very angular. So, well, katakana is very masculine and on the other side, hiragana is quite feminine. To, similar to Shta without that horizontal line. So, you have all of them over here in front of you. You can practice this at home and feel more comfortable. Now, what does this look like? You have a well, you have this small living creature over here which looks like a frog and this is a kotovaza. Kotovaza is a saying, a proverb. So, well, what does it look like? Can you tell me? Does it remind you of something? Does it 
remind you of a proverb in Hindi or in English? Well, that is exactly what it is. You will read over here now. Ino naka no kawazu, taikai o shirazu. E is ido, which is a well. Naka is inside and kawazu is the kairu over here, the frog over here. Taikai is a big large water body or the world you could say. O shirazu does not know. So, well, ino ino naka no kawazu taikai o shirazu meaning that people generally judge others as is given over here from their own experiences. Well, this is very true. You judge people from what you have done, you have seen your own experience, but that does not mean that you should not learn more. You should not be like this frog, very happy where he is, not even knowing that there is a big world outside, that there are people who are greater than you, people who are more knowledgeable than you, there are bigger things than this well. So, please everybody should come out of their zones and try to learn more, try to see the world more and try to understand that there is much, much more than what you have seen. So, well for us also here, we are doing Japanese, we should learn as much as we can and not be very happy and content that this is all. There is much, much more to learn, many, many more things to know about. So, we should all try to do that. E is a well, taikai is ocean or a water body, naka you already know and shirazu means do not know so well. There are lots and lots of things to learn. One of them we will do right away after this vocabulary section. Well, abunai means dangerous, E is a well, taikai is ocean or a water body. Shiru is to know, shirazu means do not know. Nyugaku is joining school and shiki is the ceremony where you go to school, you get a lot of things and it is a big, big thing in Japan. In April, children join school and their parents give them lot of money, lot of good things because they are going to school and kawazu is a frog. So, well, as I told you, there is lots to learn. There are lot of things we do not know about. So, well, one of them, what does this look like? What, what do you think when you look at this picture? This is a picture of some flowers and someone doing something with the flowers. What is it? Well, there are more of these pictures. You see this flower decoration, a special way of decorating flowers. This is called ikebana. There is, there is more. You can see there are some twigs and something has been put together, some bamboo sticks are there, some flowers, some seeds done up in a way nicely. It looks beautiful. Not too many flowers, but well, it still looks pretty. So, what is it? It is ikebana, the very, very famous art of decorating flowers in Japan. That is called ikebana, playing with living plants, living flowers is ikebana. Now, ikebana is, is a traditional art form of Japan. It is arranging flowers beautifully. All of it is given over here. There are two kanjis to it. Ikeru means to live and hana as we already did is flower which is bana over here. Why it is important or why it has become such a big thing is because it is a very disciplined art form. Even though it does not look as if it is being done in a very disciplined, organized, systematic manner. It has lot of things that have to be kept in mind, lot of things that need to be looked into and covered when you are doing ikebana. And each arrangement itself is unique. Every time 
you make a flower arrangement, the, the arranger decides as to what he wants to make and then that arrangement is made and the feeling is conveyed through the arrangement. Now, it is very interesting that Ikebana was not there initially in Japan and it has come from actually India and how it has come from India is very interesting because Buddhism went to Japan from India and in India we have a tradition of decorating the deity or decorating the altar with flowers as you can see over here and this thought went with Buddhism to Japan and the Buddhist priests started decorating the altar of Buddha with flowers. Slowly, slowly over, over a period of time it developed into this art. Initially the priests in Japan would be decorating the altar, they would be teaching how to decorate flowers over there, how to decorate the deity with the uh, flowers, but slowly others took over and then it became into a big, big art form. Now, the basic construction of Ikebana is a triangle and basically meaning heaven, earth and man and that is how you would decorate your flower arrangement. All the time I will show you the pictures and you will see that there is a triangle all the time and it is not just about flowers being put in a bowl or in a, in a vase, how they are put, what is behind decorating what is behind the arrangement, what flowers you will use, what kind of uh, other objects or decorating material you will use to make the arrangement is also very important. And there is lot of patience involved in doing Ikebana and less is more. They, the, the arrangement generally has a lot of empty space, very few flowers are used, lot of twigs are used, there are different styles and specially space is left for imagination. So, that is the most important part and another very important part about Ikebana is that it gets you, brings you close to nature. So, there are lot of things mentioned over here, you can read it and you can look at these pictures, there are different styles of Ikebana, very few flowers, how they are arranged, you can see the slant, the twist and it is always very beautiful. The simpler it is, the better it looks, that is the concept of Ikebana. In some cases sand is a must, in some cases twigs are a must, leaves are a must, sometimes it is only flowers, sometimes it is only green leaves. You can see over here these leaves are there, very few flowers, then it is done up only with flowers. You have these stems pointing with no flowers on top, fruits are there you can see, the different kinds of ikebana, different kinds of decoration and brings you close to nature and teaches you patience. That is the most important part of ikebana. So, well you can read lots more on the net, these pictures are also from the net, you can go look it up, the links are there and now is your time, you have to do your assignments, you have to go over what we have done today, well choose the correct verb forms over here, look at the pictures and tell what they are doing or what they are not doing and you have your counters to do. So, there are a lot of things that you have to do today. Go home, practice all of this, do it loudly with your partner, feel comfortable and try to use it in conversation as much as you can. So, well till our next class. So, minasan mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.